Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Kia for those who are new. And today's video is pretty much gonna be me answering some of the questions I received about my fitness journey. So to start off, I'm gonna go ahead and insert a couple of before and after pictures and videos so you can pretty much see my transformation. <music> Like I said, I'm only answering some, so if I do miss your question, feel free to leave it in the comments and I'll answer it to the best of my abilities. So the first question was, what fueled me to go to the gym? Um, I would say it was a couple of things. So my main reason for going to the gym was that I wasn't feeling confident in myself. I know people are always like, oh, you're a pretty girl and yada, 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 but I can feel pretty to you and, you know, hate myself. So it was more so for me to you know, gain that confidence back that I felt like I was lacking. And then I also had a couple of family members and friends who noticed that I gained weight and it just made me uncomfortable. Like I just wanted to feel confident in myself and I was tired of saying like, oh, next year, oh, next summer, yada, 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 summer body, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just tired. Like <laughs> I was tired of saying it over and over again. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna just do something about it. Um, the next question is how often do I go to the gym? So in the beginning of my gym or my fitness journey, I was going to the gym six to seven days out of the week. Now it's not as much just because like I kind of already surpassed my goal. So when I go to the gym, it's literally, it's strictly for gains. I'm just trying to tone up my abs, tone up my arms, get my butt back. Like, so I started off six to seven days and now I would say I go like anywhere between four and six days. It just kind of depends on my mood and like what's going on around me. But the gym is still a part of my routine either way. So, yeah. Um, the next question was, what was my starting weight and what is it now? So, I started at 185 and now I weigh 130. I've been 130 since, like, November, December. So, I'm still there. If anything, I feel like I'm trying to gain weight back now just because, like, my booty gone. And I don't really like that. So, yeah. Um, the next question is how long did it take me to lose the weight? So I started going to the gym in July of 2021 and by November, 2021, I had already surpassed my goal weight. Um, so it took me a total of four months to lose the weight. Um, the next question is what is my diet like? <clears throat> yeah, about my diet. <laughs> my diet is trash like it's terrible um in the beginning i tried to eat like salads and i tried to eat healthy but that just was not it just wasn't for me i feel like so it was trash and then i went through y'all know i'm gonna be transparent with y'all because i'm always transparent on my channel so i went through a phase where i just couldn't eat so i was taking pre-workout and i was also stressing a lot like i felt like my life was just in shambles and sometimes i still feel like that but i'm not on pre-workout so i can't manage but um so it was like a phase of like two and a half weeks where i just could not eat anything like i could drink so i would drink like protein shakes or i would get like those naked drinks and just try to you know use that as a substitute for food which it's a horrible substitute for food but i kind of just did what i had to do because like no matter how much i wanted to eat and how much I knew I needed to eat. I just could not. Um, so I think I mentioned this in my last video. I think I put it at the bottom, like pre-workout plus stress. It's just not a really, it's really not a good combination, um, especially if you have like a, a lot of stress, a lot of toxic people or just situations like going through a, the big move, like breakup, other like shit and other shitty people. Like... <laughs> A combination of all of that will have you not eating so 
now I don't have that problem because I don't take pre-workout. If anything, now I feel like I eat too much. Like I cannot stop eating. Like every other hour, I'm like, dang, I'm hungry. Like I wanna eat this. And it's never anything healthy. It's like burgers, Chipotle, like pizza. Even though I'm allergic to pizza, pizza, like a bunch of fatty foods. And that's something that like I'm aware of. So the first step to solving a problem is admitting that you have one. I realize I have a problem and that my diet is trash and I'm gonna work on it. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but eventually I'm work on it. Um, so yeah, don't come to me for diet advice because I'm not the girl for you. The next question was, did I lose my boobs when I lost weight? I did. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I don't really know. This sound bad, because I'm 25, like this is something that I should definitely know. I don't even know my cup size. I just know that I did lose my boobs. Like they're still there. Like I still got, you know, enough going on, but it's not as big as they used to be. Um, I also lost my ass. I know I keep mentioning it, but it really, it really did something to me. It hit a spot because anybody who knew me before, y'all knew y'all knew the vibes y'all knew what was going on and now i feel like i'm part of the little booty crew so yeah i'm doing games now to try to get it back so catch me summer 2022 and yeah it's gonna be different then i hope i pray <laughs> um and the last question is what kind of workouts do i do so in the beginning i was strictly doing cardio like a bunch of cardio workouts um, I would use dumbbells here and there, but it was mainly like I was trying to sweat off the fat. And now I do more lifting. So I started lifting like maybe a month ago or maybe a couple weeks ago. I don't know. But I will say this. Lifting is not for the weak. It's not. Like <laughs> I really be in the gym ready to just because it's hard. And I don't know. It just is what it is. I feel like as I go on. It'll get easier the same way in the beginning as I, when I started, it was hard. And then as I went on, it got easier. So yeah. So in the beginning, I recommend doing a lot of cardio. And then after you get either to your goal or close to your goal, I recommend lifting. Um, so that's pretty much all the questions that I was going to answer. Like I said, if I didn't get to it, I'm really sorry. Um, I do want to mention a couple other things. So for one, um, I talk to my friends about this all the time. When you're going to the gym and you're starting your fitness journey, make sure you're doing it for yourself and that you're not dependent on others. Because a lot of people will be like, oh yeah, I need a gym partner. I need this motivation. No love. You need to motivate yourself because say your buddy is sick or say they don't feel like going to the gym today. Nine times out of 10, you're not going to go because they didn't go. And that it kind of defeats the purpose. So if you're trying to lose weight, do it for yourself. Um, another thing, I cannot stress this enough. Take pre-workout because you need it. You need the motivation. After you got to a point like to where I'm at now and I don't need pre-workout to go to the gym, I think about what this motherfucker did to me the other day and I'm like, I'm gonna go to the gym so I don't catch a case. So like after, after you don't need to take pre-workout anymore, try to like lean off of it just a little bit and then hopefully you'll just get to the point where you don't need it anymore. Just because it's really not, it's not good for you. Like, it's just not. I don't think any energy drink or anything like that is good for you. Um, also, when it comes to dieting and stuff like that, there are a couple of things that I just don't eat or don't drink just because either I'm allergic or I just don't like it. So I don't know if that helped, but I will tell you just in case. So I don't drink any soda. I mentioned this in the last video. I don't like soda. I don't like that bubbly feeling on my tongue. If it's ginger ale, I can tolerate ginger ale, but anything else, I just, soda's not for me. I also don't drink coffee at all. I think it's bitter, no matter how much sugar, sweetener, whatever you put in there, I just don't like it, so I don't drink that. I drink a lot of water and I drink a lot of juice. Um, when it comes to food, I'm allergic to chocolate, citrus, and tomatoes, even though I still be messing with some of them. But chocolate is a big no-no for me, so I don't eat any chocolate. Um, and I guess that's pretty much it. And then healthy food, I'm not gonna lie, a lot of healthy food, I don't really like it. Like broccoli, ew, nope, 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 no, no, I'm not eating broccoli. So <laughs> I don't know. I hope this video was very helpful. If it wasn't, I'm really sorry. I feel like I try my best to help you guys, you know, as much as I possibly can, but I'm still figuring it out myself too. Like I, had somebody told me that I was gonna lose the weight as fast as I did, I was like, no, I'm not. Like, Ain't no way, but I did. So hopefully the things that I've 
told you now will help you. Um, if you haven't watched the last video, make sure you go check that out. I feel like that's very helpful. And as I've said before, if you have any more questions, leave them in the comments. Please don't DM me. I'm not trying to sound like a bitch, but DMs be overwhelming me. Like, and not even just from fitness. Like, y'all gotta understand, I get, you know, different DMs for fitness, different niggas who be talking to themselves. Like, it just be a lot. And I don't know. Hopefully, I get out of this funk that I'm in and I'll be in a better mood soon. But if you leave a comment, I'm definitely going to respond. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.